Hi, y'all. Let's chat a little bit about the Butma FBI investigation for Brett Kavanaugh uh, from the hearing and that the, the Senate Democrats desperately want because it'll help the process to have the independent judgment of the FBI, of course. It's complete nonsense. Now, there are a couple of different kinds of investigations. You have counterintelligence investigations, you have criminal investigations, and you have background investigations. Uh, they often are after the same kinds of material in certain respects but they're completely different types of investigations that only superficially resemble each other with the most different being a background investigation. Um, except for when the FBI is doing background investigations for its own members, because then it is, it is not only the investigative agency who's doing the background work, it is also the consumer of the data. It's the one who makes the decision. So as a criminal investigation, a criminal investigative matter, Ford's case is going to go absolutely nowhere. Uh, it, there's just nothing there. She doesn't know. She's not even sure what year it happened, uh, where it happened, things she should be aware of since she claims to have been there. Uh, she claims to have been drinking at the time. There was only one beer. She's very clear that she only had a beer. She knows it was exactly one beer, uh, not, not one and a half, not two, exactly one. Um, she has no idea about anything except that she's certain that uh, these three people were there and were witnesses. Uh, she remembers that that someone, she doesn't know who, threw her into a bedroom and that when the commotion had cleared, it was definitely Brett Kavanaugh who was on top of her. So that, on that fact, she's 100% certain, she says. By the way, anyone who says uh, he or she is 100% certain about a, a memory is uh, either lying to you or themselves or both. Uh, you don't have that kind of certainty and it's a good way to say, oh, I mean, no. You might have a high degree of certainty, but you don't have 100%. Uh, anyone, that person's overconfident. They're over playing their hand. But anyway, um, you couldn't get a search warrant off of anything that she said. The most that would happen is the investigators would say, oh, you said there were some witnesses. We'll go talk to them. Otherwise, what you would have to do is, I guess, canvas, and something which you can't do now, the entire area of Chevy Chase, Maryland, uh, sometime in 1981 through 1982. Everyone who was there. Uh, not going to happen. This is just a complete non-starter. <clears throat> I doubt you'd even be able to uh, defend a subpoena if you issued it in this case. Well, on subpoenas, there's been a lot of ballyhoo about, oh, we want to subpoena Mark Judge. Uh, please read your federal rules of evidence. He is an unavailable witness because his position is that he does not remember or does not have knowledge of the events. Uh, that is why uh, you would, you know, that's when you would admit his hearsay. The statements that he's given out of court, what things that he has said, things that he has said, because if they claim they don't have knowledge, then they're not material to the case. Uh, and unless you have something that contradicts that, other than the assertion that, you know, he does, you know, you're going to have a real hard time even defending a subpoena, which, depending on the jurisdiction you live in, uh, your mileage may vary here. Uh, either the lawyers in the court can issue them themselves. Uh, sometimes you have to go to the clerk of court who will just sign a blank one and then the parties fill it out and have it served. Um, now, of course, this is the Congress, it's the Senate, so um, it's a little bit different for them when they issue a subpoena, but ultimately, if a person resists the subpoena, the enforcement mechanism is in a court before a judge. And the court, uh, the judge in a courtroom is going to look at the evidence rules he's aware of, rules of procedure he's aware of, and say, oh my word, the Congress wrote this into law. This is obviously the proper uh, you know, framework to analyze this. And you know they're going to look at it just like that, because where it gets enforced will be in court. That's where any contempt proceedings, any motions will have to be filed because Congress does not have any power on its own to, uh, to prosecute. To, to do, you know, it, It's a legislative branch. It's not an executive branch, and it's not a court. So uh, one of the things that I, I said on Twitter that you wouldn't even be able to issue a subpoena for this. It's not technically correct. You could issue it. You wouldn't be able to successfully defend it. And uh, because it would you know, violate a clear rule, uh, the person who issued it, unless a Congress creature, uh, like a lawyer or a party, would be subject to mandatory sanctions, uh, including attorney's fees, uh, lost work, wages, travel, blah, 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 and other such sanctions as the judge sees fit to, com to make it clear that in his courtroom he's not going to tolerate people abusing the issuances of subpoenas uh, to harass people. And in my experience, yours may vary depending on where in the country you live, Federal judges do not uh, take kindly to having the process abused. You, you will follow uh, the rules, 
or not only will you be sanctioned, or you stand for very substantial sanctions, perhaps contempt proceedings, you are certainly uh, not going to benefit from anything that you got from that subpoena. It will just simply just be excluded. You lose. So um, it's a good talking point. I don't know how much force there is behind it. But in any event, <coughs> you couldn't get any of that legal process. This would stand up under not under any uh, standard of anything in the law. I mean, not even like the first common sense kind of thing. It's just a bare allegation, which is inconsistent with everything that can be verified. And uh, it fails to satisfy the Constitution's requirement to even get a warrant. So just as a matter of Hornbook law, it would be impossible for a warrant, a search warrant to be issued because you cannot, you cannot particularly describe the things to be seized, the things or the person to be seized, or the places to be searched. Okay, so there's that. But what uh, the Senate Democrats are wanting to do, and Jeff Flake, is pretend that a background investigation is uh, a criminal investigation where at the end of the road there will be some judgment about what happens. This is a good talking point, but it's one, it's the Senate abdicating its responsibility. It alone decides. Uh, it alone is responsible for these investigations. The FBI has certain statutory obligations to collect information. That is all they do. Uh, there are a couple of different parts to a, to a background investigation. You have like a, a documentary search, the court records, arrests, convictions, bankruptcy proceedings, various filings, lawsuits for you know, torts, uh, you look at financial statements and disclosures, bank records, uh, anything that indicates gambling or alcohol, you know, things of that nature. Uh, like your money, you have more money than you should, uh, you're in a lot of debt because you can't manage your money despite having a real, uh, you know, a well-paying job. Uh, so they're looking to collect that kind of potentially derogatory information. And I say potentially because they don't make any decisions about it. They just put it in a report and they send it to the uh, decider to figure out whether it's all junk, whether it's good, whether it's bad. The FBI has no interest in that at all, except for the investigations, the background investigations it conducts for its own employees. But that's just the happenstance of it also of its also being the uh, decider as well as the uh, the one doing the background work. Now, so that's one part of it. Another part of it is doing the the uh, interviews with various people who know the person. Uh, you know, when you fill out your forms, they'll ask you for references. They're aware that the references you give aren't going to be your enemies. Oh, that person you mugged? Probably not going to put his name down if you mug someone. So they're probably going to put down people who uh, like them and will say nice things about them. So one of the questions that will get asked is, uh, who else does this person know? You know, do you know of anyone who has uh, a different story than yours to tell? Or please give me the name of a couple people that you know uh, who aren't, you know, this person, whatever, th known to you who uh, know uh, of him and might have information. So look at that, and, and so that, you know, that's how the chain goes. But all that the all that they will do here is ask questions and have and you know jot that down a shorthand version of it. Uh, they may take a statement. Um, and they will do not a single thing more than that, no matter what is said. So this is, you have to imagine this is happening dozens of times, but we'll do give a sample one witness interview. So like, you know, open up this portion of case file, start record. Hi, I'm Special Agent Fluffy with the FBI. You know, you are in that person's name. Do you have any information about Brett Kavanaugh? Why, yes, yes I do. Excellent. Tell me what you know about him. Oh, he's a good guy. He uh, he volunteers his time at food kitchens and soup lines. He helps the homeless, the poor. He goes to animal charities and shelters and sponsors them. And he loves cats. He loves puppies and bunnies. And he rescues them. Uh, he's often on the, out in the, uh, the neighborhood uh, catching them, getting them neutered, and then releasing them. He's very great. Also, he belongs to an alien gang, a gang of criminal inter intergalactic aliens who beam down and molest our cattle. Also, he murdered my wife, and there his corpse. There's, there's her corpse. That agent might, maybe possibly, and I'm being slightly hyperbolic here, vaguely look in the general direction of where the corpse is alleged to be just out of a sense of politeness. They won't examine it. They're not going to ask. They're not going to check for anything. They're just going to write down. Frank says, likes cats, helps puppies, feeds home, blah, 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 belongs to an intergalactic alien organization that molests cattle and murdered his wife asserts there is a body. That's, 
they will do that and not a single thing more. So it goes open file, you know, open the section of the file, blah, 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 all of what I just said. Investigation complete. That's it. And then they will take whatever a person says, a uh, shorthand version of it, if not, uh, you know, if, if it's not uh, a verbatim transcript. They will write, they will take the words that come out of a person's mouth hole and go into their ear hole and they will make their hand do this on some paper to scribble some words there and they will turn around and take that document and say, Congress! Staffer, usually. Here! That is it. Period. They will do nothing else. They draw no conclusions. They draw no inferences. They verify nothing. They attempt to verify nothing other than just you know, asking the person a series of questions. You know, you said this, anything more you want to say about it? Anything more? Anything, blah, blah, blah. It is very not a criminal investigation. It is very unlike any investigation uh, that, that you would see on TV. It just does not work that way. So that's it. That's what they want the FBI to do. What they want to pretend is that the FBI is looking into rape allegations and is working on the case. For one, the FBI can't. It has no jurisdiction, whatever. All that it can do, and all that it will do, is what I've just described for, at the stage of the investigation. Uh, now, uh, some people have sent um, information to DOJ, FBI, asking for the, the... The DOJ and the FBI have said, not as hyperbolically as I said, uh, essentially what I said, yeah, there is no allegation, even potentially, of anything involving federal law. We have no interest here. Our job, our work is complete. Our job is done. There's nothing for us to do. We can't help you. Uh, they have an ongoing obligation if information is uh, given to them to turn it over to you know whoever is the consumer of the, the customer of the data. In this case, the customer of the data is who? It's the Senate. Who's the one giving them the the new information? It's the Senate. So all they can do is go. Well, thank you, Senate. Uh, please tell us what you have to say. Yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. I'll, I'll write all this down. Write all it all down. Right, 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 right. All right, thank you, Senate. Here, look what I just found. And they'll hand it right back to the Senate. Now, they're going to go out there and they're going to talk to, you know, Kavanaugh now and Ford and these other people. Um, after which the FBI's, I'm sorry, the Senate's going to be like, oh, it's not conclusive, it's not enough information. Now we need to issue subpoenas to get to the bottom of this, you know, even though the subpoenas can be resisted. That, that's their game. There's, there's no there there. Now, I don't know what Flake's game is. I would just say my first impulse here is, don't ever vote for a candidate whose name can foreshadow a personality trait. So, you know, if you have a politician named Traitor, don't don't vote for him. Flake, don't vote for him. Emma Rapist, you know, I'm a rapist, don't vote for her. Uh, you know, Will Shank, don't vote for him. Just I, I don't know. There's no study on this. It's just my my intuition that don't do it. Just humor me. <clears throat> So you have that. Uh, he is just a flake. Uh, he no real principles. He's he's oh we're being torn apart at the seams. We're being torn apart at the seams precisely because of weak, spineless motherfuckers like you, who continually and without exception reward bad actors in the system. This would be like a judge talking about how he's got to let the prosecutor continue suborning perjury, or the defense counsel to to continue suborning perjury. Because failing to do so is tearing us apart at the seams. And the reason it's tearing us apart at the seams is look where we are at the justice system with all of the bad tricks being worked out in the courtroom. They're being worked out in the courtroom precisely because you first started down the path of letting people suborn perjury. No, stop. If you guys want to derail this, you need to come up with uh, some evidence that says this guy did this thing. Otherwise, he has nothing to answer for. He has, he has no apology to make anyone anyone. He has no explanations to be given. Uh, it's a complete farce that he was there in the first place. And I love the fact that he went in there uh, and just went full bore laying into the Democrats and calling them out for what it is. It is a political hit job. It's nothing more. It's nothing less. The Democrats don't actually give a shit. They just want to keep this man off off of the, the uh, court at all costs by hook or by crook because they know they certainly can't do it based on his actual record, based on his actual character. And uh, they know there are are not there is not a single credible allegation, which is why you saw all this disingenuous shit about well, Senator uh, Whitehouse, Amy Klobuchar. Anyway, going through the the calendar. Oh, what could the FBI do? They could check out this. Oh, he said he was at a party. Well, here it says he was at a party. 
Well, I guess one party's like another party. Senator Grassley quite properly pointed out. Yes, uh, that date you mentioned does in fact have that he went to a party and it has some of the same names and then a lot more than uh, anyone. Uh, and by anyone, I mean just Cap, just uh, Ford. She's the only one who seems to be aware of this party. Uh, is, is aware of. So it doesn't match. There's no there there. This is like saying, well, you know, he went to a party in 1981. She says this could have happened in 80, you know, in 81 or 82, uh, possibly 83, maybe 80, who knows. And so it could be that party. Oh, but the party that he went to in 82 was in, you know, Hawaii. I'm sorry, the party that we're looking at here that sends records in Hawaii. And the one she says happens in New Jersey. Well, you know, it could be the same party. Maybe she just got the state wrong. It's still credible. No matter what she says, it's credible. Even when she says, oh, well, I assume that that was true. And I represented that as being true, despite the fact that it was actually, I have no knowledge of it. Oh, that's still credible. Very credible. Just make shit up. So uh, the FBI is, is going to return exactly what has been said. So they're going to look at the transcript and go, oh, hey, Senate, here's a transcript of what she had to say. It's what she told you. It's your transcript. You're welcome. Here's a transcript of what Kavanaugh had to say. You're welcome. We asked them questions. Here's what they said in response to the questions we asked them about what you told them. Well, what do you think? I think here's, the, here's what they said. We heard the words come out of their mouth hole. It went into our agent's ear hole. And then they wrote it down on the paper and gave it to you. I think that's what happened. And? And? Investigation complete! That, yeah, that's what happened. You know, so whatever. It, it's just, it's, it's complete non-starter. Uh, it, it's a political trick. There, there's no there to it. There's no substance to it. And, and Flake needs to unfuck himself. Uh, I'm glad he's getting out of politics. He's, he's absolutely useless. Because he, he's rewarding them for their nefarious tactics. He is saying, oh, we shouldn't, we shouldn't uh, reward this. But I think it would be very useful if we gave them everything that they've asked, asked for so far. Uh, you know, except for my voting no at this stage. I'll vote yes here, but I might still vote no. I might vote yes. I can't say yet. But I'm going to give them everything they ask for. Why? Because Senator Coons, who is a flagrant liar, now he talks about Trump being a liar, takes one to no one, uh, because they're friends, he goes, well, I'll do it out of courtesy. Yep, bite me. So in any event, on, on that thing about, oh, Trump is a liar, Trump is a liar, and then I'll say this senator is a liar, that one's a liar, and they'll say that Trump is a liar. The whole, the whole point here is you have very few, if any, politicians who are honest. It's like a job requirement to be deceptive. So how it ever works that we get good laws passed is a complete fucking mystery to me, given the, the character of these people and what politics does and what you have to be like to get into it. Uh, you have to be very, very dirty, uh, seemingly. It's like a job. I, Reagan said it best, I think. I don't know if this is uh, an original of his or if he borrowed it from someone. But it says, you know, they say po politics is the second oldest profession in the world. I can't help but notice it bears a striking resemblance to the first oldest, you know, to the oldest one, because it fuck a lot of people over. It's, uh, so anyway, it, it always amuses me when one politician whines and another one is whining. They're not upset that, I'm sorry, whines that another one is dissembling or lying. Uh, I don't think they're upset that Trump is lying. I think what they're really pissed off about, the same thing the media is pissed off about, is that he's doing it better than they are. And uh, he's beating them at their own game. I think they this is what really they hate. But that's just a not at all secret now intuition of mine. I, I can't prove it. Don't claim to. So uh, that's the FBI investigation. I'm sorry, investigation. You know, it's they the FBI on these matters aren't conducting. It it would be better to refer to them as uh, glorified gophers at best than uh, be, being uh, people who are conducting any kind of serious investigation at this point. All they are are uh, glorified gophers. They're going to go there, listen, and go back and say, this is what I heard. That's it. Nothing more. Have a great day.